Hi guys, this is, uh, I stopped up. Hi guys, it's Stella Pinkbird here, and welcome to another Star Star Let's Play video. I am literally recording this, um, like literally the same day and the same time as I did in the last episode, because like I couldn't, I couldn't bear to wait anymore because it sounds really, um, what's the word, puzzling. Look at what Mr. A part of an old temple, so yeah, we're just gonna continue of where we left left off. So um, hmm, why did I jump? Okay, good. Oh, there's something sparkly over there. What could? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that was easy. This must be the gateway to the secret vault. You found it. Ooh, what? What was it? Is what was it Mississippi Jones wrote? You take out the diary page and read it again. I think I understand exactly how to open the gateway. There are buttons on the pillars all over the place, and if you press them in the right combination, the passageway opens up, as if by magic. Solve the puzzle of the pillars to open the door. Okay, so that has a spider on it. So, um, the pillars was part of... Uh, is that a good... Oh, yeah. So, what does it say? The pattern on the gateway shows which three are the right ones to press. Hmm... What did I just mount for? So maybe um, I have to look for pillars with spiders on it. What am I doing? Hello. There's a web on it. But spiders make webs, so yeah, I just found that. Where's this one on it? That's a sword. I don't think that would be good. Three? I don't know. A duck. There's another pillar there. Another spider. Here. No, she's wearing the new ones. This puzzle is very puzzling. A sword. Let me see what happens if I rotate this. Oh, buttons that move back into the prison. No, oh. There are buttons that goes together with the pattern on the gateway. Okay, so. They stuffed up. But it was two I pressed. Is there one over here that I missed? Thanks a lot, tree. Okay, so. Yeah, that's a spider web. The sword's not the right one. I'm getting, I'm getting sick of this. I'm just, I'm just gonna look up. Be back in a bit. Two thousand years later. Okay, I'm back, and I looked up on Google a video about like when someone was doing this quest. So yeah, um, I went right past it. It's obviously that one. <coughs> Bless me. And I, that sneeze distracted me. Thank you, sneeze, so much, so very much. I love you for it. And this one, and this one. We solved the puzzle. Yay, finally. Okay, so the door's shaking now. Let's use our super speed and hurry on over there. Okay, so, um, you've unlocked the gateway to the secret vault. But it doesn't want to open. Something must be wrong. Okay. The rumbling continues. You decide to take a closer look to see if there's anything you can do to fix it. Seems as though a lot of gravel and other junk has got into the mechanism. If you don't peek over your secret doors at least... Wait, if you don't peek over your secret doors at least once a mil millennium, you'll find it gets like this. You think to yourself and sigh. Hmm, this is a problem that needs a... A fix Frank that needs a fix Frank Einstein would be proud of. Time to grab the pickaxe again. Use pickaxe to fix fix the the broken 
Great room. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's like sank into the ground. With one last whack, you managed to loosen all of whatever was blocking the door's mechanism, and a couple of bits of the machinery go flying along with it. Seems not to matter too much though, because the door opens. Okay. You notice that the ground suddenly begins to shake, and a dull rumble can be heard from within the mountain. The secret gateway creaks worryingly at its joints. It feels like the whole thing could come crashing down any second. You decide to go in anyway, you haven't come this far to just give up. A worrying creaking. Um. Okay, so I mean, my dog shouldn't be here. It's too dangerous. What's this? There's a book lying on the ground. You decide to take a closer look. What kind of book is this? It's the rest of Mississippi Jones' diary. He must have dropped it for some reason. Why didn't he pick it up again? Your thoughts are interrupted by a new kind of noise. It's creaking, crashing, rumbling like crazy now. You know what the sound means. The secret passageway is starting to collapse. Now every second is more precious than ever. Quick, out! You shove the diary into your backpack and run towards the exit. No, 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 no! No! Whew. Oh. Why did it have to be like that? Where's the Horn of Raxa though? The secret passageway has collapsed completely. It's impossible to get through. Typical, but was. It always happens like that. You read the last entry in the diary. May 26th. The passageway is open, but my pursuer is near. Darling Cornelia, I've underestimated my pursuer. He's close now, and I finally know who he is. He's the most dangerous man I've ever met. I simply must get to the home of Rexa before he does. I must get there before Mr. Sam. <laughs> what? Isn't he that dark core guy? My love for you will know, no, will know no limit either now, nor in any echo of eternity. You're Mississippi. You haven't found the Horn of Rexa, but at least you found the rest of Mississippi Jones' diary. It's time to return to Hawaii, Jones, and tell your story. Ooh, what's this? Jones' jacket, a part of Hawaii Jones' adventurer's outfit. Oh, I just noticed that I've still got this zoomed in. Okay, so time to get the heck out of here. go. You didn't find the Horn of Rexa, you say? Huh. Welcome to the club. Well, that's the life of an adventurer, adventurer for you. We risk our lives for treasures and relics that simply vanish from our hands at the last second. Ha ha. But it's the hunt that's the most fun, as we usually say in, our, in my family. The treasure itself is never as exciting as the adventure you get on to find it. Wasn't it fun though, Stella? Yeah, it was kind of fun, but... Eh... It's like it's kind of a waste of time if you you don't find anything. Ha, huh, you're a girl after my own heart, Stella. Oh, okay, um you think the same way, okay. In any case, I've now got the rest of Mississippi jo Mississippi's diary, so I must give you a huge thanks, Stella. It means a lot to me that you risked so much to find it. If you're still interested in learning about archaeology here in Apona, I can try to teach you all I can. 
Ooh, I got the, the jacket. Ooh, fancy. I think I'm going to keep it on for a while. So it's archaeology and opponent, is it? While you were out looking for the Horn of Rexa, I've gone through all my old books and maps of Opona. I was speaking to the people of New Hillcrest and picked up a few tips on where we might uncover some great finds. I hope you've got time. We've got a lot to get through. Old books and maps, though. Okay. Well, I teach you all there is to know about archaeology and Opona. Okay. There we go. You now... You now know just as much as I do about archaeology and opponent. You don't. You won't have any problem finding b dig sites where you can use your old pickaxe. There are four areas in which you can hunt for archaeological treasures. Around Butter Hill, you can look for remnants from the Roman barracks, and in the Mirror Marshes, you can find evidence of it being being a hiding hiding place for victims of shipwrecks. There are always exciting finds along Shipwreck Shore, and throughout history, people have lived on the eastern slopes, which makes it a great place to look. It's been lovely to meet you, Stella. Come back whenever you've got any questions. I'm sure I'll be around in Hillcrest for a while longer. See you around. You can now make archaeological finds in Epona. Ooh. Oh, just one more thing. If you find anything good, I happen to know Professor Chiron here in Hillcrest will trade them for trade them with you for nice items. You should ride over and talk to him. See ya. I talked to Professor Chiron in New Hillcrest. Oh, he's just over there. Hello. Good day to you. Trade archaeological objects, you say? Hmm. That sounds interesting. Very interesting indeed. I'm actually from AAE. They sent me here in a to a pronoun to go on some digs, but I haven't actually managed to get started just yet. The wilderness around here feels a little too treacherous for my liking, so I've been trying to start digging here in, the in my garden. Has been too fruitful so far. <laughs> of course it hasn't. Trading with you sounds like a very interesting idea. If you're out there looking for objects in that dangerous wilderness, I won't have to do anything as reckless as, as risking my own life when you're doing it instead. We'll make a great team. Okay, how much? Sorry, I just wanted to see how much. Ooh! Walter Winterworld. Now, I'm mostly not interested in absolutely everything you find. Most archaeological stuff is usually rubbish, but some things can be especially valuable to someone else. Walter Winterwell is a man of really odd taste, so it it could be worth your while to talk to talk to him. You find him you'll find him up at the Winterwell family big house here in New Hillcrest. Bye for now. Okay. Hello. Oh Can your dog meet mine? My gosh, mine's so tiny compared to yours. Good day to you. Trade archaeological objects? I'd love to. Only the interesting stuff, though. What have you got? Hmm, okay. Okay. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye!